have ignition. And we have liftoff of an ILS proton from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan with the Eutelsat 9B satellite on board. About 10 seconds after liftoff, the vehicle does a roll maneuver to align the launch vehicle pitch axis with the northeasterly launch azimuth. The vehicle will soon experience maximum dynamic pressure, or max Q, which is when the aerodynamic stresses on the vehicle in atmospheric flight are at their peak. The proton max Q occurs about one minute, two seconds after liftoff, at a velocity of Mach 1.6 and is sometimes accompanied by a visible condensation if atmospheric and lighting conditions are favorable. 45 seconds into the mission. Still getting a good view of the launch vehicles that heads down range. Now one minute into the flight, and so we're just now passing through the period of maximum dynamic pressure. Everything seems to be proceeding nominally as the vehicle ascends over the Cosmodrome in a northeasterly direction with a flight launch azimuth of approximately 61.3 degrees. And reports from Baikonur are that it's a great view, very clear. They're really enjoying the spectacular view of this downrange event. One minute, 40 seconds into the flight. We're coming up on the first stage of separation from the second stage that is set to occur at two minutes into the flight. On clear nights, observers at the Baikonur Cosmodrome may be able to see a bit of a halo effect of light as the second stage engines ignite prior to the separation from the first stage. And you saw it there, it was a great shot at two minutes into the flight. We have confirmation of ignition of the second stage, as you saw it visually, and a good separation from the first stage. Now two minutes and 22 seconds into the flight, uh, with the launch vehicle appears as a point of light in the sky heading down range. It would appear that we have a confirmation of planned level of thrust on all four second stage engines. The second stage will operate for about 3 minutes and 27 seconds.